Ladies and gentlemen, what's going on? This is Bryce coming at you once again from Velocity Power Sports in Ladson, South Carolina. I've got a pretty sweet used unit to bring to you guys today. Something brand new, something I've never seen before. So uh, without any further ado, let me go ahead and hop right on top of this wonderful, wonderful bike. Quite the looker, isn't she? This used bike sitting in front of me is the 2021 Honda Rebel 1100 with that beautiful DCT that everyone's talking about and a few other aftermarket additions to this bike that we felt it necessary to do. Let me go ahead and start by talking about the bare bones, what's going on up underneath this bike. That 1084 cc engine inside of it, obviously just under the 1100 mark, a liquid cooled fuel injected four stroke parallel twin engine with abs the whole gambit on this bike absolutely ridiculous what this bike is capable of and in case you guys don't know what that dct that i listed off was that basically means and bear with me when i say this this bike sitting in front of us today is the first fully automatic motorcycle of this power range that i've ever been on and when I say fully automatic, I mean you press a single button up on the right handlebar that puts you in drive and the rest is up to you on the throttle. No clutch up top left, no left foot training necessary, guys. This bike, uh, I guess for lack of a better term, you could say is quite literally the most powerful scooter that you'll ever be on. <laughs> but let me tell you right now, this thing is far from a scooter. Like I said, that 1100cc engine is more than enough for a bike of this size. And you can tell with this being a cruiser, there's a lot of cruisers that have the saddlebags on them, have a lot more weight to it. Considering all the other cruisers, this is a very, very light bike. And 1100 cc's on this, to me, is almost overkill. But we love our overkill bikes here. I know you guys love overkill too. You can never put too much power on a bike in my opinion. But let me go ahead and show you the display up front on this thing. Those are the handlebars you're looking at. And to go ahead and move into the next portion of this video, either we in our parts department or the previous owner of this bike put some heated handlebars on here. I think that's a really, really cool addition to this bike. You don't see heated handlebars on motorcycles much, not unless they're brand freaking new. And I did already say that this was a used bike, but condition wise, this bike is once again, practically brand new. Here's your transmission display up front, if you will, your neutral, your drive. You got all kinds of bells and whistles on here that honestly, I don't know much about. All that I know is that Honda, for me anyways, showed me the first fully automatic above 1000cc motorcycle that I have ever been on. There's that Honda display that you're looking at. Pretty common for the Rebels, but the display is not why we're here for this bike. Heated handlebars. We actually put on new side mirrors for this thing as well. And if you guys couldn't tell, actually carbon fiber up on the mirror there. I'm sure you guys can see that. And I will tell you guys, because I want to be honest in all these videos, this bike was dropped. Very minimal damage. We, we had to replace the side mirrors because of it, because those are normally some of the first things to go when a bike gets dropped. But I'll show you the dent up on the gas tank up here as well. You can see it kind of warping the light right there. A little bit of damage there. Little bit of scratching on the exhaust as well. If I'm being honest with you, quite a bit of scratching on the exhaust. But that's a pretty simple fix, guys. And honestly, it's it's only cosmetic, very, very minimal. And that's why this bike is, is still making it onto the YouTube page for me, uh, because this bike has so much to offer. So let me go ahead and start this thing up. I know y'all wanna hear what it sounds like. And because this is a fully automatic bike, I'll take you guys on a little ride with me today too. So uh, give me one sec y'all and I'll do just that. Now that we're lined up, let's go ahead and ride y'all. Like I said, fully automatic, automatically upshifts for you. And I'll show you guys here in a bit that it does the same coming back down. Beautiful day out as well. Gotta love this road that I get to ride these things on. And it's especially beautiful when you have a, a nice comfy suspension system underneath you like this bike provides and a whole lot of power to move. <laughs> Doing 
doing this one-handed, y'all. I mean, it's that easy on a bike like this. Go ahead and show y'all the downshift there. Not touching anything at all. Puts right back down into first. We'll come to a smooth, comfortable stop here. Look at that. Gotta love it. It's obviously got a bunch of different modes on it as well. You guys can tinker around with rain, performance, whatever you guys are looking to do with this bike. It's pretty well tuned for about any conditions you're going to put this thing through. And, you know, you could always put a windscreen on this. That's honestly what I would suggest to do. You're going to kind of need it for a cruiser like this. This thing isn't necessarily made for drag racing, but it is incredibly comfortable, torquey and powerful with it being an automatic transmission, which is the biggest question for a lot of people is, you know, are you gonna lose some of that control? Are you gonna lose that power with it being automatic? That's why manual guys, uh, you know, even with cars and motorcycles the same, you know, they're in full control of when you switch into that next gear. But this bike, if you do lose some torque, if you do lose some low end power, it's it's pretty hard to notice. And I've been on bikes pretty consistently. Uh, it's This is a pretty damn good bike, guys. And I'd say we got a lot more bikes like this one sitting behind me, but we really don't. Like I said, this is the first automatic cruiser that I've ever been on. I mean, it was a pretty cool experience. You gotta love bikes like this that are just trying to innovate and trying to appeal to as many people within the market as they possibly can. And I know a lot of people are oftentimes put off by the fact that most higher end power level bikes are gonna be manual transmission and they don't wanna have to go through that whole learning curve, learning process to figure that out. So here's your answer, y'all. <laughs> And uh, if you guys are liking what you're seeing on all these videos I've been putting out, make sure to give a stop by by Velocity. We'd love to try and help set you guys up with the right unit for hopefully your right needs and on top of that, your right price as well, y'all. So I'm going to ask y'all to please take care of yourselves for the rest of this week. Into this next weekend, I hope you all had a wonderful fourth. You guys take it easy and God bless each and every one of y'all.